In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five glossy circle options infographic slide in PowerPoint and this can be used for your corporate presentation design. So let me just show you how it works. When I click, you can see a very colorful glossy circle appears with the first option which I have put as research and you can add your detailed text here and the percentage is 20% and then the second with a different color comes for the finance and then third it is for the development 43% for marketing 61% and then for the sales is 75%. So you can see here, this is very, very professional look uh, presentation slide. You can use it in your regular presentations. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide and change the background to light gray color. Then go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes, select the old shape from the basic shapes. You can see here, let me just select it and then i'm just going to click it here and you can see the height and width as one point i'm going to change this to 2.75 so make it 2.75 is the height and the width also i'm going to make it 2.75 shape outline make it no outline then you can align center align middle and i'm going to give a gradient fill for this so right mouse click go to format shape and i'm going to select the gradient fill you can see here this is the last time I have used, that's the reason it is uh, showing here. You can see I have added four stop, a dark blue here, and then there's also one more dark, and then I have just put some dark purple and some light purple here. So these are the four color combinations I've used. If you want, you can just change the color combination according to your own requirement. So now I'm going to the effects, go to the 3D format, you can see here, Select the first top bevel. I'm going to select the round one. And then you can start increasing this one. You can see here it is getting more. You can see here. And then if you want, you can increase the height also, something like this. So it looks kind of a more a 3D uh, oval shape. I'm going to add few more shapes so to look it more glossy for that go to insert shapes and from the basic shape I'm going to select this circle hollow just click the circle hollow and this also I'm going to give the same height and width 2.75 you can see here and you can just reduce the width by dragging this small orange point shape outline make it no outline and then press ctrl d to duplicate this is i'm going to use for the later use so i'm just going to select this align center align middle and i'm going to change the color to white and increase the transparency here can you see here i'm just increase the transparency something like this and then i'm going to select this increase the width maybe this much size and then i'm going to put it here again in the center or you can align it center align it middle also and i'm going to keep it only one part of that one and the three parts i'm going to delete it for that go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw a rectangle you can see here only on the bottom part then select the circle hold the shift key select the square in the merge shape you can intersect that so you end up getting only this one only you can see here only this shape and then again you can give a white effect and increase the transparency you can see here and then i can just rotate it and put it this side here you can see here just make sure you rotate it properly and then align it so you can get this one if you want you can increase further press ctrl d to duplicate bring the other side you can see here flip horizontal and i'm just going to add one more side here if you want to change somewhat up that also possible you can do something like this now after this go to insert shapes i'm going to select an oval shape draw the oval shape maybe this much size and i'm going to select gradient fill gradient fill i'm going to use only two stops so let me just delete the other stops one stop i'm going to make it white color the other stop i'm going to make it the color which is in the background you can see here shape outline make it no outline and then type i'm going to select a radial direction from the center you can see here bring it here and then 
the gray color one i'm just going to increase the transparency size you can see here or if you want you can just give the color which is we have used for this also that also you can do it and make it fully transparent and this also you can make it somewhat transparent reduce the size so you can see here it is more of a shining look or the glossy look you can see here something like this you can make it so let me just add one more uh, shape also go to shapes select the same one draw a smaller one you can see here maybe instead of 2.75 i'm going to use only 2.5 you can see here again reduce the width shape outline make it no outline and then i'm going to use it for example only this much part you can see here again i'm going to select this and this merge shape and then just intersect and if you want you can just cut it also further let me just cut it and make it something like this again select this one and you can subtract it shape fill make it white and bring it here and somewhat increase the transparency here and the last thing is i'm going to give a shadow effect for that i can just select this one which we have used before you can see here and this one i'm going to use the color which i have used for the background and here i'm going to use this for the black you can see here so this one make it fully transparent and this also you can increase the this one and then select this and then go to format send this to back so you can see here i have added the shadow effect also and if you want you can go to effects under effects you can go to soft edges and increase the soft edges also so it looks more of a soft shadow here now once this is done you can select all or you can press ctrl a and ctrl g to group it so before adding the percentages let me just duplicate this you can see here and then i'm going to select this and then according to my requirement i'm just going to choose the color so you can go here for example if you want some uh, color with orange light orange and dark orange you can select this orange color you can see here then you can maybe select somewhat darker color whichever color which you feel better and then i'm going to choose some maybe more lighter color you can see here and here again i'm going to choose some darker color so whichever color you feel better so this is very light maybe i can use something darker so you can see here and this is also a more darker color and then i can use it this one and increase the size here so you can see here and then you have to select this one this color you need to make it maybe orange and make it fully transparent so something like this you can choose a different different colors so and then once this is done you can just reduce the size hold the shift key and reduce the size and then you can put it one here let me just move it out here then i'm going to select one more press ctrl d again reduce the size this time i want to give some green color i'm going to select this again go to more colors maybe i'm going to use some green you can see here again whichever way you want uh, you can just choose the different different colors but you have to make sure that the color combination looks perfectly all right matching the requirement you can see here and then i'm going to make it more darker so like that you can make different different color combinations again press ctrl d reduce the size change the color again ctrl d again change the color so with this you can see here you can make different different colors like this now once you have added this one it's time to add the percentage and the text
let me change the color for this so i'm going to select here and i want to use some dark purple here you can see here and then i want some light purple maybe i'm going to select this color or maybe this also i can select and if you don't want four also you can just make it three also not a problem and then again for this also i'm going to use some dark color here so you can see here the different different colors you can choose it now it's time to add the text first i'm going to add the percentages here go to insert text box and for the bigger one i'm going to say this is 80 percent example first let me just select 80 and i'm going to use the font which is oswald any other font which you like you can just use it make it bigger make it white center align and add it here you can see here if you want we can make it more bigger also and press ctrl d to duplicate this and i'm going to add the percentage sign where is the percentage sign okay so this is the percentage sign i'm going to reduce the size you can see here left align and just add it here so likewise i can just select both of this press ctrl d to duplicate so this will not be 80 percent maybe this is only 50 percent again reduce the size if the color is not visible you can make it black also or any other color and again this percentage also reduce the size make it black color and then move this one closer to the 50 percentage so likewise you can just copy and paste it for the other also maybe this is i'll just say this is 62 percentage again reduce the size and this also reduce the size so likewise we can just add the percentages so you can add the percentage for the rest of the two circles also then you can go to insert text box and then you can add say this is 0 1 your title make it again the font oswald and then this one i'm going to make it a gray color maybe you can see here and below you can add the title or oh, sorry the detail text you can see here you can add reduce the size if you want you can give the same font and just put it here and then press ctrl d to duplicate this is for this one ctrl d this is for this ctrl d this is one for this and the last one this is for here so this would be our option number two this is option number three this is option number four and this is option number five and if you want you can add some small animation also that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye